My special guest joined the Lawrence Welk musical family back in 1967, and she was also part of his personal family. Please welcome the beautiful and talented Tanya Welk Roberts. Hey, Tanya. Hello, Mary Lou. What do you think when you look back at this show? It was 1969. I had a waist. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was before the children. That was before everything. It, it's, it's really bizarre <laughs> to see myself that young. But I loved it. That's when I met all my best friends, one of them being you. Oh. And uh, we just, you remember all those wonderful days. I sure days. do. I oh, sure yeah. do. Well, last time we talked, you told us when you were a child, you played mansion instead of house. Yes. And that you decorated. Yes. And were a designer. Yes. What's the latest update on that? What are you doing well, these days? I've been staging uh, big properties, and it has been a blast because... Okay, what is staging? Well, they don't live in it. They're, they're trying to sell the house. So if it's an empty house, you know, people come in and they look at it, but it, it, it kind of cold, and uh, people just started staging, and I just heard about it and just <laughs> got right in there. And I, I did some, uh, quite a few in Pasadena, and they were huge mansions. And I was in heaven because I didn't have to spend any of my money, and I just went crazy. <laughs> and Playing you, mansion you, every day. Yes, every day. And you put in, like, for example, when I make a bed, I would take uh, plastic and roll it up and just put it over like it was huge and, you know, no sheets or anything. And I would dress a bathroom like it was the greatest spa in the world, and they sell. Not... Not just because of me, but yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you find everything? Well, I have some rental places in Los Angeles that I use, and then uh, I have many relatives with a lot of stuff everywhere, and I'll just, you know, see what the client wants, and then I'll go to the according relative and say, can I borrow that lamp, and can I do this and that, and you just put it all together, and it's, it's so fun. Oh, it's just fun. Fabulous. Yeah, that is playing of, house. And then, and then plus the people uh, will let me buy accessories because then they'll use it in their new place or the new owners. So it's worked out really well and and uh, it it helps me uh, to save money <laughs> so I don't buy it for myself. <laughs> well, you just recently staged, staged something a huge. very special wedding. Yes, uh, our son Nikki, third one down. Um, he was married, he is married now, but uh, he married a chef, and he's a chef. They have a restaurant in Venice called Beachwood. It's a movie star hangout, and uh, they're so in love, and they wanted the wedding at our house. So uh, <laughs> my husband, Ken, and I, we built a little church front. <laughs> I mean, like, if it rains now, we've had it, because it's just... It, it's a just facade. joint compound, you know, with some spray on it. But it's beautiful. It's like a little Spanish church. And they got married in front of it. And Larry Welk III married them, his older brother. And that was really special because it was, I guess it was just so meaningful because he really meant every word. And they were almost talking uh, about the whole thing. And, and it made it special for the audience and all, everybody there because... Uh, they, it, w it was a very personal, personal, beautiful wedding. Was everybody part of the wedding? Yes, all the children were. All my grandchildren, I should say, well, and my kids. But uh, I have five grandchildren, and they were gorgeous angels. She only had a maid of honor, so the kids were really the wedding. And they also helped me do everything. The food, the decoration, the everything. And they're, they're just little uh, homemakers already. <laughs> and cooking and... Taking after grandma. Oh yeah, I started him very young. You also have a great husband. And yes. he just got a nice birthday present too. Yes, uh, besides a huge party, <laughs> and I won't say how old he is, but uh, he is finally getting his engineering degree. He's been an architect and he's also an enologist that makes wine, but uh, in LA, you know, we work together on a lot of projects. And so he's finally doing it and he's so excited at this time and stage in his age, <laughs> so. It's perfect, you never stop growing. No. Tell me about the Barristers Ball. Okay, well, I am putting on my other hat. I am still singing, I am still going around the country, and I've gotten into a um, really wonderful thing. I do uh, charity benefits, and I do, you know, big balls, um, kind of, not really society, but people that that donate, I guess they would all be considered charity. The 
my very favorite is the Barristers Ball in Chicago. And it is, it's like going back in time because it is absolutely elegant, fabulous. They have it in gorgeous rooms. And the best part is they have a 26 piece jazz band that they're all attorneys and federal judges. <laughs> Not to mention I was very terrified walking in there, <laughs> you know, going, oh, my God. But I mean some, like, big, heavy federal judges that play their buns off. They are so fabulous. So if anybody's in Chicago and wants to go to the uh, Barristers Ball, please go. It's March 8th, and I'll be there singing. And it, it's just a wonderful event. In fact, the uh, leader, John, you got to help me with this, Vish. Vin Vizneski. I can't say it. Sorry, John. Um, <laughs> he is a clarinetist, and his favorite person in the world was Henry Cuesta. Oh. And he has all a of his music. A good favorite person to have. And he is so, so good. He is so good that sometimes, you know, I just hear a little Henry, and he's been wonderful, and he's been pushing this barrister's ball uh, to, well, mainly what they do, it's called Lend a Hand Program, and it's for all the inner city children, and uh, also the Children's Memorial Hospital, which is one of the finest in the United States, and they just bring boatloads of money to them, and it's just a wonderful it's great to thing, be part of it. and I love it, and the people are wonderful, and so, like I say, next March, another huh. one. Do you have any good Lawrence Welk stories? Well, I can't tell you them here. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, well, there's one that's kind of funny. My parents were uh, in the car with him, and this is like really telling behind the scenes. And uh, he was talking away, driving his convertible red Dodge, and, and this was in Palm Springs, and we had to go to somewhere, but I was in the car behind him, and he went, on the wrong, you know, when you get on the freeway, mm -hmm. he went where the people are coming off, he went up. And I thought my mother, I could see her from the back, was going to jump out of the car. <laughs> and poor Lawrence, he just stopped and he goes, I better stop talking. <laughs> he made a you. That's, a, that's, that's one I could tell. <laughs> Is there anything you haven't done in your life that you'd still like to accomplish? No, I think I think I found it. I've got my family that's just fabulous. I've got grandkids and I've got, you know, probably more coming. I mean, I keep telling them, come <laughs> on, I want some more. Um, I'm so happily married and I'm doing what I want to do and I have great friends and guy. Life is it's, good. It's, it's really good. It's really good. Of course, I could use some more money, but <laughs> besides that, who couldn't? <laughs> time spent with you is wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And time spent with all of you is a treasure. <laughs>